What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Haven, Haven the Groomer, and I'm back with another one. Today, I'll be demonstrating how to get rid of gray hairs while using a permanent color to do so. If you enjoy this content, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe while I continue to grow and continue to give you guys some fire content. So after you get done cutting your client up, you know, beard and all, you're going to take the brush and you're going to start the lining part. As you can see, I'm taking my time. This is a service that, you know, takes time. You can't really rush it because you don't want to get any other color on the skin. On this section of the hair, especially around the edges, I'm going to double coat it just because that's where the grays are the strongest. With the beard, I'm gonna do the same thing as I did on the hairline. As you can see, the grays are most strongest right on top of his uh, beard and on top of his mustache. So I'm gonna make sure I double coat it so I can really kill the grays. Now I'm going to take the corner of the towel and I'm going to blot out the taper section so that when I wash out the color, the taper look nice and smooth. same steps I did on the other side, I will do on this side as well. Now for all the barbers out there, this is very important. Uh, any new client or even old client that comes in and sits in your chair, Make sure they sign a chemical release form. You know, I have a lot of clients that came in my chair that said they got color before. And then once I applied the color to their skin, they had some type of allergic reaction. All right, you don't want that on your hands. So make sure they sign that paper. And also for the new clients, you give them a patch test just to ensure that they're not allergic to the color that you're about to use. 
All right, trust me, thank me later. This section is important too. It's probably gonna take the longest because you know there's a small spaces that you have to get in there, but you wanna make sure you keep double coating that that gray area because the open grays are strong. You know, one coat not gonna do it. As you can see, I'm going over the same section over and over until I feel like it's fully coated with the color. Of course, the razor is optional at this point. You could do it afterwards as well, but I like to do it before just because I'm able to get rid of all the excess color that might be hanging over the skin. All right, the last part is me taking the color and putting it on the rest of his hair. And then we're gonna put him on the dryer for about, I'll say about 15 to 20 minutes. Then we're gonna rinse it out.
And there you have it, the final product. Hope you enjoyed the content. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Once again, y'all be blessed.